You can have the best product in the world with the best design ever, but at the end of the day, if the customer is not seeing that product, it's not going to make sales and inevitably not going to make you any profit. Keywords and SEO is probably the most important thing for you as a seller because that is going to be how a customer is actually going to find your product on Etsy, Amazon, or any other print-on-demand site. So if you're using the wrong keywords and SEO, that just means that your products are not going to get seen by the right people. Title, description, SEO, tags, those can all be super challenging to master on Etsy. So that's why it's really important that you're not just flying blind and you're going to use something that's going to help you get an edge up over the competition. I'm super excited because today's video is brought to you guys by Sales Samurai, who is my favorite and my choice of research tool for all of my listings on Etsy. Using them has really helped me improve all of my listings and actually make a lot more sales than I was when I was just trying to rely on myself to be able to optimize all of my products. In this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step exactly how I use this tool to optimize all of my Etsy listings. If you want to check them out, I will definitely link them down below along with a special discount code that they've given me for you guys that will get you 20% off if you do choose to try them. They also have a really cool three-day free trial. So if you do just want to give them a try and go along with this tutorial, you can definitely do that and optimize some of your listings without even paying for this. Sales Samurai has an awesome research suite, but they also have something really cool, which is their Chrome extension that allows you to actually do research while you're just looking on Etsy. One thing I really like about Sales Samurai is that they don't rely on third-party research or tools to get a lot of the data that they're presenting to you. They have their own data scientists that are compiling the research directly from Etsy to give you the most accurate picture of what is going to be a bestseller, about what key words actually will work and about how to optimize your SEO. Now I'm going to walk you through exactly a step-by-step -step how to use this software. Right now I'm on the pricing page which is the first thing you are going to see. So you'll notice that there's that free trial which is an amazing thing that you guys should definitely sign up for but also these other options if you use my 20% off discount code which is ebeline 20 that's going to get you 20% off of this price right now for life no matter how long you have this. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our shop to the Sales Samurai dashboard. This is just going to give us an overview of what things we can already start improving in our shop for our listings that are already uploaded. So right now I just added my test shop, which it doesn't have active listings that I put up right now. So you'll see that a lot of these just say zero, but if you do put your own shop in here, you're gonna be able to better optimize it by seeing how many views you're getting, how many tags that you should be actually using. It's gonna give you a great dive into how you can optimize your shop. And if you do just start with the free trial, you can go ahead and add your shop and already just see how you could better optimize that even in that three day period. Now I'm gonna walk you through how to do some basic searches in Sales Samurai. All right, so now that I'm in Sales Samurai, I'm going to go over to search. I'm going to go ahead and do a basic search right here and I'm going to search for funny teacher shirt. All right, so right away it's giving us a lot of information about this long tail keyword funny teacher shirt. The things you're going to want to pay attention to on Sales Samurai are going to be the search volume, the click through rate, and the Etsy competition. So for the keywords funny teacher shirt, we're seeing that it has 73, which is pretty good search volume, and a 15.17% click-through rate, which is also really good. But over here, we're going to see that it's showing there's at least 50,000 listings. I believe 50,000 is about the highest that it goes to, so we know there is a lot of competition in this. Like with anything in print-on-demand, the recipe for success is going to be high demand but low competition. You could definitely compete in funny teacher shirts, but you can also use this tool to find something that maybe has a little bit less competition. All right, so if we scroll down here just a little bit more, we are going to find for this keyword some of the other suggested keywords that it's going to recommend, as well as some of those most common tags that were used. So this is a place that I always like to come to when I am creating a listing, I'm going to search it and then I'm going to use some of the information it provides about what keywords I should be using and what tags are going to be best for this. And then once again, down here, we're going to see what the average views are, as well as average likes and average photos per listing. And then this is also going to give us some of those top competitors in this one stores that are making a ton of sales for this keyword. 
Now we're gonna open up a few products actually in Etsy and go through these listings. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on one of these and take a look at it on Etsy. So we can see right now we can look at their title and we can look at some of their information as well as their listing. But I'm gonna go ahead and head back over to Sale Samurai. We are going to take this best selling listing and actually do a deep dive on Sale Samurai about what they are doing to optimize this that's helping it become a best seller. And right here, there's actually something that says details. So if you want an even deeper dive of what these best sellers are doing and what keywords they're ranking for, we can click on this and it's gonna give us a lot more information. So right now it's giving us the title, description, and then we can see how many characters they used in their title, how many title words they have, their description, how long that is, and then how many of those 10 images did they actually use. So this is a really good indicator about if you're trying to compete in this, what a lot of those best sellers are doing. And then we can see how much quantity they have. We can see how many views they're getting, their monthly views. And then when this was created, how many likes they have, and then the price of this item. So this is all a really good information. And then another really important thing is I love to always look at what these best sellers are ranking on for their tags. You can see right here, all of the tags are ranking on and then how much search volume there is for these. So they're ranking on a really high traffic volume tag, but also they have some of these other ones that have a little less competition. One thing that I love that Sale Samurai takes into account is a lot of people don't really love doing all the research on the back end using a dashboard like this. So the Chrome extension makes it super easy to just go about searching Etsy for different trends, new niches, new product ideas, and they're going to present you with all of the data right away. So you might see a new candle or a new shirt and think that seems like a great idea, but then right away you can tell how often that product is selling, how much competition there is. So that's a really awesome tool that I think will be a super easy way to utilize this daily in your business. So you're not always having to go back and forth to the research suite if you don't want to. This is an amazing tool to just get some quick product ideas or to do some keyword research without even leaving Etsy. So I'm going to go ahead and search the word teacher gift. All right, so right away Etsy is populating a bunch of different suggestions. So sometimes that is a great place to start. But what I love to look at is right here for teacher gifts, you can see that it has 3,432 search volume every single month. So that is a great start, but we are going to do an even deeper dive and click right here where it says 500 more suggestions. So this is going to take us to the Chrome extension research that you can do on Etsy. Right now it's giving us 500 other keyword suggestions with those words teacher gifts. So there's a few different things you can do right here. One of the first ones I want to show you is you can filter by search volume. So if you want something that's going to have at least a certain amount of searches every single month, you can put that here. We can do 100 to 500 searches a month and see what that brings up. All right, so already that has narrowed down our results a little bit. And then another thing we can also do is if we want something that has a lot of search volume like these that have at least 500, but we wanna make sure that there's less competition, what you can do is you can put that you want the competition to be from 100 products to, let's say because a lot of these are in the 20,000, 30,000 range, let's say we want something with under 2,000 products and we will see what that brings up. So already that's really narrowed down our products so these all are possible ones that you could target because they have that higher search volume that we want, but they have lower competition than some of the more generic ones like a funny teacher gift or a language arts teacher gift. So those are all great places to start. But one other tool I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna go ahead and reset this. And sometimes you want to make a teacher gift, but you're looking for a longer tail keyword to go along with that. So something you can do is in this word count thing. So maybe you want a string of keywords that has at least four words actually in it. So we are going to filter by that. And already it's really taken down all of the results and given us those longer tail keywords that we could possibly target. And then another thing I love to do. So with this teacher gift shirt, I sell a lot of shirts. So sometimes when I'm looking up something more generic, like a specific niche, I don't really want to look at all of the different niches in every single product like candles and keychains. I'm just wanting to focus on shirts or sweatshirts. So you can put must contain the word shirt. It's going to already go ahead and filter out all of the keywords that don't include the word shirt right there. So that's also an amazing tool for this Chrome extension.
One of the other features that I love in Sales Samurai is something called their competition tracker. So this is a tool that's it's gonna let you take a look at some of those shops that you are competing against in a totally ethical way. It's just using the information that is freely available but presenting it in a way that's really useful to you. You can search any shop name here. So if you know some of the biggest competitors in your niche, for example, if you're selling candles or tumblers, you could find some of those really big names that are making those daily sales and put them in here and actually see what they're doing right. So I went ahead and I put some of these biggest like funny t-shirt brands in here. Right away, it's just going to give us a lot of information about what they're doing. So you can see how many sales each of these shops has. You can see how many listings they have, how many likes, how long ago they were created. So like this one, it was only created a year ago and they already have 7,000 sales. So I think this is a great tool to be able to just get a little bit more information. We can even click on these and we can see what their sales history has been. So they were kind of doing steady and then recently it seems like they just took off and got a lot of sales. So that's an interesting thing to pay attention to and see what they were doing differently at that time. And another thing I like is that I think sometimes newer shops, they get really discouraged. They have like a hundred listings up and then they're not getting the kind of sales that they want. But right away we can see that all of these stores with best selling designs, they have tons tons of listings. Some of those probably aren't even making sales, but the best sellers are going to make up for that. So you're going to want to have a couple hundred listings before you even worry about why your shop isn't making sales because really a lot of those best selling stores have so many listings. Sales Samurai also has some other really cool tools I wanted to mention. They have something where you are going to be able to calculate your listing and what you should actually price your items at. This can be a huge pain point for a lot of sellers because you think you're going to get five dollars profit on something but by the time you figure in Etsy fees your print provider fee some of those off-site ads you find out that you're either making barely any profit or you might actually be losing money so that's why I love using a tool like this listing calculator it is way too easy to lose money on Etsy. There are just so many different fees that you have to take into account, especially those offsite ads have really screwed up a lot of new sellers because they don't realize they're actually gonna be paying more than what they're charging. So I'm gonna use this and show you how I calculate the profit that I'm hoping to make on a product. My best sellers tend to be shirts, so I'm gonna do what I would typically price something at. So I'm gonna do $21.99, which is what I've been pricing a lot of my shirts at. Some of the best sellers, even $24.99. And then I'm gonna put four, 95 as the price I'm going to charge for shipping. And then I'm not going to do any kind of coupon discount right now, but that's a really cool feature. And then material cost. So I'm going to be getting this with my partner Printify and I'm going to say it's going to be around 1019 for me to actually purchase that item. And then they're going to charge 495 for shipping as well. So I'm not going to do any Etsy ads or renewing. And then I'm not going to calculate right away those offsite ads. I'm just going to put it at 0% as if it's selling without an offsite ad. And then it's it's going to calculate the listing fee, the transaction fee, the payment processing fee, and then show us what our actual profit's gonna be. Right now, it's saying my estimated profit would be over $8 with a 33% profit margin. But now I'm gonna show you how that changes a lot when we add some extra variables. So a lot of times I will run a 10% discount on my shop. So I'm gonna put 10% there. And then I'm actually gonna say that our offsite ads are gonna be capped at 12%. So we're gonna put that right here and go ahead and calculate. And now we can see the estimated profit goes down to 383, taking our profit margin down way low. So if that is way too low for a product you're gonna be selling, you're going to want to increase this price here. But you can see a lot of times I see people selling at $19.99, they're doing a 10% discount and they have offsite ads up to 15%. So we're gonna go ahead and calculate that. And you can see right away, the profit is just over a dollar. So you might be thinking that, wow, with $20, if I'm only paying $10 for the product, I'm gonna make $10 profit. But you see with all of those fees, it's really important to know how much you're actually paying. And this tool is super invaluable. This is one of the biggest reasons that I love Sale Samurai. It really has helped me with pricing my items, getting a more realistic view of exactly how much I'm gonna make on each sale.
deal. Well, as a newer seller, especially a lot of times it's tempting to not invest a lot of money into your business because you're not making any profit right away. But the thing that I found is that in my own personal print on demand business, when I did start investing in some of these research tools and design tools that I was immediately selling a lot more than I was just trying to do everything on my own. So something really cool about Seal Samurai is that if it just helps you sell a couple extra products every single month, it's by far paid for itself. And I know it's going to do even more than that for you guys. So that's why I definitely am recommending Sale Samurai as your research suite of choice for Etsy products. Once again, I'll have all of the information for Sale Samurai linked down in the description below. And if you do decide to get it, make sure you don't forget to use that 20% off coupon that's going to last you for the lifetime of your subscription. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.